Cabela's tent. This is the XPG Ultralight 3. Bella's XPG ultralight three-person tent without the rain fly. You got a pretty good uh, bathtub style floor. And the seam is tape sealed, double stitched. Got lots of no seam mesh. As I mentioned before, we got DAC here NFL feather light poles. And you also get the DAC feather light ground stakes. the XPG from Cabela's ultralight three-person with the rain fly on all guide out so you get uh, three guy out points on each side and then you also get some uh, low ventilation bungee guy outs there. See in the center bottom there. It's the same thing on this side. So the guy out lines do have reflective material. And the little buckle is reflective as well.
a little tricky getting this uh, rain fly on for the first time. The way you uh, get it over this little ridge pole here was a little bit different. I'll show you that. Probably show you that better from the inside. <laughs> All right, so there were some hug clips on the side here that attached the rain fly to the uh, clip that the bridge pole goes into. And it had that on both sides. They so do have that large roof vent there at the top. And it's not Velcro closable, it's just kind of open. All right, let's take a look at uh, some ventilation options with this tent. All right, so on the back here, on each side, you'll notice there's this little toggle loop, or a loop actually. What that is for is, I'm about to trip over the line here. <clears throat> So you can unbuckle the rain fly, roll it up, and if you got a loop and toggle, so instead of having a uh, roof bed on the back, they opted to do this. So you get some nice, good, low ventilation coming through. So you can do both sides that way, or you can just do the one side. Pretty nice. There's the door wide open. <clears throat> Pretty good sized vestibule. Let's get some measurements of this uh, Cabela's Ultralight 3 XPG tent. I'm really liking how you're able to unclip the rear corners of the rain fly and tie them up. I mean, it increases ventilation tremendously. It is a huge, huge difference. I mean, even if we had a roof vent, you know, like, like what we have here, I don't think we'd be getting as much airflow as what we're getting right now. So I am under a tree, so I got a little bit of shade, but it is close to 100 degrees here in Texas. We're at the end of June, but I'm really uh, digging this this Cabela's XPG Ultralight 3 tent. All right, let's get some measurements here. So the front is a little wider than the rear, so let's measure the front here. So we're at 66 inches wide on the front. And they say this is a three person tent, but I mean, that's, that's just, I mean, you know, you know how that is with tents, two person, three person, one person. So it's a, it's a three person, two, you know, fitting comfortably in here, three, I mean, you're just right up next to each other. All right, let's check the back width. So we are at 59 inches wide in the back. All right, let's get a uh, length of the tent here. So we were at 89 inches long. All right, let's get a peak height. So 
we're right at 43 inch peak height. That's not uh, let's bad. take a look inside of this uh, XPG Ultralight 3 by Cabela's. Take a look at the inside here. <clears throat> so we've got plenty of peak height. So this is the highest peak here, center of the tent. We do have a loop here for your lantern. And then while I got you facing this way, I'm gonna show you this ventilation here in the back. This is really what sets this tent apart from others. There is a lot of air coming through there. And that is awesome in the summertime. All right, here is a look. Here is a look at the uh, front roof vent. So let's see it right there. So you see, it's got a little cut out there. <clears throat> so you have to run that pole. Yeah, I am not getting a very good picture there. Hang on. There. <clears throat> There we go. So what I did was I just pulled the pole out of the hub and then I just fed it through the hole and then reinserted the pole. And then it has a little hug, hug pocket. And that's basically your roof vent there for the front. <clears throat> All right, so we do have some uh, pockets here. These are corner pockets are up kind of high. No gear loft with this tent, but uh, with these uh, pockets up kind of high, you don't really need a gear loft. And you do get two pockets down here towards the bottom. And that is all the pockets. They get some nice uh, YKK zippers. Nice little... Uh, there you got a nice nice little thing to grip onto there it's kind of nice now you do have some more loops there's one here here and is there any in the back here I thought there might be some here at the back so you can hang a line all the way across, but it doesn't look like there is. So, I guess you could uh, <clears throat> string a line from here to here, or from here to where your lantern goes to. So you could do like a little triangle here, there, there, <clears throat> and there you can hang some wet clothing or whatever you need. So with the side uh, guy outs there, it does pull the tent out of the way. Or pulls the rain fly out and away from the tent body there. All right, so <clears throat> another unique aspect of this tent is it came with a fitted ground sheet. So fitted ground sheet basically that's just instead of having to bring a tarp or something to lay down and then put your tent on top of it <clears throat> it comes included it's uh fitted just for this tent and it's uh waterproof so it helps to protect the bottom of the tent prolongs the life of your tent and another good thing about that is since it's a fitted ground sheet it does have grommets for your poles and it has buckles for the rain fly so you can pitch this tent without the tent body, without the netting or the flooring. <clears throat> so we're gonna set that up for you and uh, show you that. That will reduce the trail weight by two pounds, I believe. And we'll go ahead and measure, or uh, not measure, we'll go ahead and weigh that for you as well. All right, so here is what it looks like with the, just the ground sheet and the poles now how that ridge pole is going to come into play i'm 
I'm not sure. So I have not figured out what this plastic piece is for yet. So anybody out there knows, has one of these tents, or knows what that is for, please let me know in the comments section. I have not found a purpose for it yet. Of course, I'm not done with the video yet either, so maybe we'll figure it out. All right, so here is the XPG Ultralight 3 by Cabela's with, uh, without the tent body. So basically we have the uh, fitted ground sheet, the poles, and the rain fly. So that center ridge pole that went over the top, that one uh, you, you 86 it when you have this set up. It does not fit in there. So, makes a little bit of a difference, but if you want to go ultra light, that's, uh, that's the price you gotta pay, I guess. All right, let's take a look inside. Let's open the door. So we just have the fitted ground sheet. Poles. So that little bungee side. Hurt my finger. There it, is, there it is. So that little guy out there does kind of help pull that out away a little bit. So that's what it looks like without the inner tent. So if you want to go ultra light, this is what you could do. So if you're worried about creepy crawlies, just get you a uh, a bivy bag, one that uh, has mesh, so you can completely close yourself in to keep the creepy crawlies off of you. Or you get you a warm bivy for winter camping if you do this setup this way. And in winter camping too, you could also undo that guy out bungee there and then just bring it in closer and bungee it or stake it down so that way it's closer to the ground you can retain more heat in here that way and we still can unclip the back to get more ventilation let's do that real quick all right so i just got one of them up there i'm not sure if i will ever use it in this form But it is an option, and just in case you're interested, we're gonna weigh this setup just like this. We're gonna put it in the stuff sack like this. We're gonna leave the tent body out, that third ridge pole out, and see how much weight we're gonna save. We took the uh, tent body out, the uh, bug net, the mesh floor. You know what I'm talking about, the tent body. And we took out this third pole, the ridge line pole. So we have the ground, the fitted ground sheet, the rain fly, the poles, and the stakes. Let's see what we have here on the weight. How much is it going to save us? So also real quick on the uh, ultra light option, I also took out the splint and the seam sealer. So we're at 3.6. I forgot what it weighs. It's is. We five pounds. So 30 yeah, pounds. I still can look. So was it one pound or was it two pounds? I think it was five something. So it was probably going to be close to two pounds, I think. Let's weigh it one more time. Same thing, 3.6. So when you think about it, a. Uh, well, it's, there's calling it a three person. And is it a tent when you take the tent body out? In my book, it's not. It's, uh, at best, a tarp, you know. But it's a nice option to have. And I will use it as a tent. With all the here. So, there you go. I'm kind of impressed with this uh, XPG Extreme Performance Gear. Sold exclusively through uh, Cabela's. So this is uh, 
probably the lightest option you can have with this setup. Basically, you just have the poles and the ground sheet, and then the stakes in the four corners there. And then you just activate the shield. So what the shield does is it allows wind to come through, as you can tell, but it doesn't allow any bugs or anything like that to come through here. And, uh, they have an upgraded model where you can 